What's up guys, Epic Turtle Boss here. Welcome to a new kind of series I'm doing on my channel that's gonna be just tutorials on little things that I figure out or do or wanna show you guys think it might be useful for like uploading or editing and stuff. That's what it's mostly gonna be about. Uh, if you guys have any video suggestions, I've been kind of like feeling like I don't know what to post what you guys like. So leave any suggestions down in the comments below. Like before this video begins, I just wanna clear that up that I've been having a bit of like trying to decide what videos I make, you know, because I want to make you guys happy and make you guys enjoy it. So leave uh, suggestions in the comments below if you have any ideas. Anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. This is a tutorial on export settings from Adobe Premiere Pro. CC 2015 is the version I use, but I'm pretty sure it works for like 2014 and stuff. I'm not sure about the CS, but I mean, you can look up a different tutorial for that or just see if this works for you. So this is export settings for YouTube. So I have a project here. It's my Happy Wheels 3. This is already uploaded. So you guys can go check it out if you want on my YouTube, but pretty sure it's my latest video. Second to this one but yes it is and you guys this so this is like what it looks when I'm editing it I just have all the clips like edited together and some titles and stuff but I'm going to export it so to export you go to file then go down to export and media you need to make sure you have this panel selected none of these because if you see it'll go down and media is grayed out so you have to have your sequence panel selected and go to export media and then it pops up this little screen right here and right here I have a saved preset my YouTube preset high bit right, so I'll get to that in a second, but the, so this is just so I have all my settings set up so I can show you guys. So these are all the settings that I use for YouTube and like how I export and you guys can like look at my video. It's like, I'm not trying to promote my channel or I am like, go ahead, check out my videos. <laughs> I mean, but I'm just trying to say like, you guys can go look at them and see that the quality is decent. It's not the best in the world, I'm sure. But like it's good quality, it's clear, and I like it, and it's very watchable, at least for me. Let's get it right into that stuff. So here we go. Effects. I did not mess with this at all. I just didn't check any of these. This doesn't really matter. The most things are video and audio. I don't think, yeah, multiplexer isn't really. But video and audio. So video, the width, 1920 by 1080. And I don't do the match source thing. That's not, so don't click that. That just makes it to the source that you imported like that the clips are from so that would be my recording um frame rate 59.94 is what i use because i record in 60 fps usually like when i'm recording vlogs and stuff but i don't know if it matters as much but just do this and field order progressive aspect square pixels 1.0 um tv standard is ntsc this is for like asia and europe if you can see it like it goes to custom i know but this, um, USA and Japan use NTSC, Europe and Asia use PAL. So, that's just that. Profile high, levels 4.2, this is the coding parameters, bitrate, and maximum frame size. Then the profile's high, so it just, like, it's better quality. So, it's some algorithm and stuff, I don't really know what this stuff means, but... Render at maximum depth is good because it makes better video quality. Increases how long the encoding takes, but I don't care because I want to make better quality videos for you guys. Next up is bitrate settings. VBR2 passes the bitrate encoding. It like it goes over it two times, I'm pretty sure is what it does. So it makes like better quality of it. But just do just select this one. It's the best. It makes the best quality. Um this is a high pretty high bitrate. If like I go with target bitrate 15, maximum bitrate 25. And then advanced settings, I didn't do anything with it. Keyframe distance 90. That's what, I mean, if you guys want to, if that's changed, I'd set it to 90 because that's what I use. Then this is very important. Use maximum render quality. Gives better quality scaling, but increases the encode time. But this makes it a lot better quality. So I'd very much recommend this. None of the other stuff needs to be checked. Time interpolation is frame sampling. Then we'll go to audio. So audio format, AAC, um, basic audio settings, audio codec, AAC, sample rate, 4,800 hertz. That makes it good greatness audio uh, also having a good mic helps with the audio so if your audio is bad don't blame me i use a blue snowball ice version to get my sick audio awesomeness channels would be stereo audio quality high of course you want the best quality bit rates i use 192 i'm pretty sure you could go lower and higher if like depending on what kind of computer but i'm not going to confuse you guys just do 192 if you're unsure if you're like a computer pro, you probably won't need to watch this video, but just do do what you want. But if you're not sure, definitely use 192. It's what I use, and it's good. Advanced settings, precedence is bitrate. And then 
And all this stuff is the same on video, so I already showed you guys that. Multiplexer, um, MP4, and stream compatibility standard. I didn't really mess with this. This is just how it was. But I'd change it to there if it wasn't. I don't know. Uh, this I didn't mess with at all. And because it's just for captions that doesn't have anything to do with the video I think and publish I didn't mess with anything at all either So the main things are video and audio that you need to copy my um, Export settings and then once you're done setting up all this you want to get um You want to save your preset because if you want to use this kind of you want to use this stuff again So you want to save your preset go up here. It says save Come on. Come on, man. So this is save preset. Oh, I can't save the current preset. Okay, but if you want to like go here Go to a custom and like I'd all mess up the settings. Don't do this, but you just go like if this was that, this is this. I'm just doing this so it makes a new profile. This was that. Then I press here. So once you're done doing the settings I showed you before for my YouTube preset, you press save preset, make a name. Perfect. Then you press OK. I'm not going to do it because I don't want this preset to be saved, but you'll press OK. Then your preset's saved when you hit the drop down menu on preset. Then it'll be right here. Here's my two YouTube presets. I use a high bitrate one. Then once you're done, uh, it just says like your output name. Export video, export audio, of course, has to be checked, definitely. Or it won't export your video or export your audio. Or neither, which would very much suck. So then you're going to go down here and press export. That's what I do. And it means that you can't use Premiere while it's exporting. If you go to Q, uh, it opens the media encoder. But I've had troubles with that. I'm sure you guys could get to work. It would be a different video that you want to watch on that. But I just do export because I've had problems with Q. You press the export. Then it pops up this little square and it says encoding Happy Wheels 3. That's the title of my project. Pass 1 of 2 because I did a 2 pass as you saw in the audio I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, L2 pass Arena. And then I'm going to cancel, but you'll just wait for this blue thing to go all the way out here. And then this will just disappear. And then you look in your destination, wherever you put the destination. Wait. Yeah. Output. Use Epic Turtle Boss Desktop YouTube stuff. That's my folder for where I want to put it. So you'll just find it where you said where you set to put it. That's all. So you guys will be good on getting your stuff from Premiere onto YouTube. Because Premiere is my definitely recommended editing thing. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and tell me in the comments below if this helped you. Um, and that's pretty much all for this video. And I do hope this helped you because I had a lot of trouble figuring it out. The other tutorials I saw were like, this is how I figured it out from other tutorials, but they were a little confusing. So I just wanted to make it clear. I hope you guys, this helps you a lot and I will see you guys next time. Like if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Bye.